Hello, and welcome to Tour de Cart. We have seven animals. And I have none, but if you count animals as kids, I have two, because <laughs> they're do. pretty pretty crazy. So, <laughs> Hello, I'm Angela's brother, Mark. Hey, I'm Angela's husband, Ryan. And I'm Angela, and I'm the animal lover of them all. I think the top animal lover, and this is the Animal Tour. Welcome. Bring your yes. animals, bring your fur, bring your kids. <laughs> we got the fur handle. Bring your tanookies. Bring mm-hmm. your tanookies, bring your cats, bring your katsunis. We're jumping in. So we do have a new driver, this tour. <laughs> and it is Katsuni. Oh, the animals are acting up in the background. Ryan, do you need to do something? I think so. It looks like the <laughs> kitten has the old one cornered the kitten is less than two years old and the old one is 12 12 so so mark you knew i would be excited for this one right (laughs) this this new (laughs) yeah it's it's crazy you know we predicted some tours a long time ago an animal tour was one of them so Mm -hmm. yeah it's uh it's a crazy tour. I think I'm going to make a top 100 run. I guess kind of looking at some of the um, loadouts I have and the Rambi runners like all over this thing. And I have it at level eight triple point caps right now. Um, and then I don't mind investing in the new green Moo Moo off-roader. So uh, I love my off-roaders and the red off-roader is also on this, you know, on these courses. It'll mm-hmm. be, a, I have one top 100 run in me already. So doing another one with now 15 different cups will be a lot more of a challenge, but mm-hmm. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I got Mauser already going um, at level eight, triple point capped. I might quad him. And then the, the PD me suit is finally back. It's kind of like disappeared for a long time, but I've been buying it with rubies. So I have a level order. six right now. Um, like so buying not... it for a hundred rupees? Yeah. Yep. Oh. So I am. Um, I'm excited <laughs> to use that thing, and if I get that thing going along with my uh, gold and silver me suit, I think I have a good shot at it. So. Wow. Um, yeah. So you just saw it as a hundred rupees. You had nothing else to spend it on, so you're like, I'll just put it in the me suits. I love me suits. You know that. <laughs> And like the second best skill is the boomerang, I think. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm all I'm all for it, man. And then I've I've been stacking tickets. So I got like 37. I'll have close I'll have 39 tickets by the time I collect everything. Driver tickets. I had 37 cart tickets, 30 40 glider tickets. And then I have a bunch of uncapped stuff. <laughs> uh driver 27, cart 39, nice. glider 29, and I'll get seven more gliders. So um yeah i'm uh, i'm looking forward to it it's going to be a little bit of grind i think the other reason i'm doing it too it lines up nicely with the holiday here uh mm-hmm. thanksgiving so i'll get some time off work and be able to grind a little bit nice, nice. wow good luck good Thanks. job mark you were saying need, you were... I, I might need you guys multiplayer <laughs> with this uh pd me suit mm-hmm. get our coin boxers out yeah. get your pd me suit out I think that'll be a good time to to test that theory out. So mm-hmm. we'll see. <laughs> I'll be off work too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's why you took off work to be your coin box to your boomerang. <laughs> yeah. That was the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So our new driver. Everybody knew I would have liked this one, right? Uh, no, oh, it's yeah. not Luigi Kitsuni. It's Kitsuni Luigi. And, and he's right he, back there. there. He's back there. Um, he does have a super leaf, which yeah. Ryan thought it would be. Mm-hmm. I thought it might be something different because he's kind of a unique animal. I will talk about a kitsune in a little bit, but yeah, it's it's what makes sense in the tanuki world, which a kitsune is different, but they want the super leaf. They did make the super leaf a little better, right? Not that long ago, so. That's a plus. A little bit. <laughs> a little wider. A little wider. A little wider. I love the design. I love the yellowness. Kind of reminds me of Cat Mario. I'm getting it. 
150 okay. rupees. I'm not. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> You'd rather get a me suit, right? Yeah, I'd rather get a me suit. I have to probably buy PD three more times, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta save up. You gotta save up. Okay, I'm the only one coming in. So, Ryan, mm-hmm. is this a good time to mention the little update about yeah. items and the spotlight shop, the daily spotlight shop? Yeah, so they had some bold text, yellow bold text in the news section talking about the spotlight items and the daily spotlight. So, they changed it like how, in you know, we pull on the week one pipe, there was a chance that you could pull the week two spotlight items in week one as your random high end. They kind of added that back in now where you can get the week two permanent week week long spotlight to show up in your daily spotlight shop. So that'd be and vice versa. Yeah. And then vice versa. So this week we have Tanuki Mario and the Tanuki cart. Next week they could show up in this daily spotlight. I actually already got Katsune Luigi in my daily spotlight today. So I saw others had the the new cart, the mm-hmm. camo t- Tanuki cart, too. So I don't know if anybody got the autumn leaves yet, but mm. I didn't see that. I, I think, do but I have the autumn leaves in my I think that's kind of cool. So that kind of means that you won't be wait. I have the autumn leaves oh, today yeah. uh, in mine. Can't see. <laughs> <laughs> I Can don't you believe you. Oh, I do. See it there? Yeah. Here, I'll go yeah. in on it. On the right side. I'm not yeah. gonna buy it. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. Gotta get out real quick, but careful. Okay. It's got Kitsune Luigi. The butter. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. There he is. There's proof. Oh. I also have two off roaders in there. <laughs> yeah. So oh, which is... ones? The yellow and yellow red? and brown. Oh, are you gonna buy the brown? No. <laughs> the brown's kind of the dud of the off-roaders, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm worried about this new one. I, I have to adjust <laughs> <it> a lot. <laughs> yeah, so be let's, good. The red has red's been good. So yeah. yeah. It overlaps a bit with the yellow, but it still has its own tracks. Yeah. So the moo moo off-roader <laughs> cow inspired a dash panel. Mm-hmm. We've got some bright green tires with some cow white and black design here. Did we, sorry, did we say that this is available as a three ninety nine commemorative banner? No, I guess we're skipping ahead to banners. We're kind of jumping on Mark's territory. I want to clarify that. <laughs> I guess we should mention. <laughs> so this, the second week for Spotlight Shop is the new stuff. So it's Katsuni Luigi and then the new Tanuki cart. Which is the camo Tanuki cart, which has mini turbo. And then for the first time, they added three items. So the autumn leaves are also in the spotlight for week two, which is mug and mushroom, which is data mining. <laughs> we are all over the map. Yeah. Uh, our our outline is bare bones this time. Morning so data mining. We're, we're talking <laughs> a little bit. Well, like talking about the new stuff, it's kind of backwards because it's data mining. Well, and then they put all the, the new things. They put all the new stuff in week two rather than week one, like they would usually do. Yeah, it's very backwards. Do you think they do that so people like spend their rubies on the daily shop and then like, run out? Oh, I'm out of rubies. I gotta buy. <laughs> Probably. I wonder if that's the case. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Just there's some sort of research. Save accordingly. That. Yeah. Can we talk about? The fact that every week one of the tour since the Spotlight Shop opened has been Mario. No, oh, no. Hmm. Mario Tanuki. There's even been a new one. When's Mar- King Mario coming out? Yeah, that's the tour I'm looking for. <laughs> if I don't get top 100, it'll be because of him. A... <laughs> Blame him. There's, yeah, there's a couple courses I could really use them on. Mm. Um, but I'll... The me suits will carry me, I think. Yeah, I would think so. Let's hope. Yeah, like King Mario, out of all the Mario coin boxes, by far the best, right? Mm. I think so. I don't know. He started out with 10 city tracks and then just got more city tracks last tour. But he's been in ranking like every week, consistently. Yeah. He just, 
when they get away from the cities now there's going to be he's not going to have that many tracks i don't I don't know how many tracks they're going to give him in the end, but I think he's got something like 14 city tracks now. Mm. Well, I'm just going off of like, if you could have used him since you got him in ranking and he's consistently there every week. So if he's helping in ranking to me, that, that means quite a bit. I mean, he could sink after this, but. Looks like he has 24 t- tracks in total. And. Um... 24 tracks and he hasn't been out that long. I think the one of the battles though he's on and he's like the only coin box or mm-hmm. on that battle. That's what I'm missing him for. It was like the opening yeah. battle track, right? So four yeah, it's the he's on Cookie Land. He's got a 14 city tracks, 24 tracks total at level eight. Hmm. So I don't know. I'd like to have him. I feel like he fell some gaps there for coin box. I didn't coverage. say I wouldn't didn't want him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, we don't. I think his the longevity of him is in question with how many city tracks he has already. We'll see. And then he's not a big coin boxer. They keep throwing bigger coin boxers out, bigger mm-hmm. hit boxers. Yeah. boxers I mean, medium is fine, and I think some of those tracks you can combine them with a extra large cart. So yeah, it kind of it balances up it out a little bit. Let's hit on the new horses. We've got DK Mountain mm-hmm. and Riverside Park as well. Yeah. They hit us with two brand new courses. DK Mountain's a little confusing on figuring out the turns going yeah. up and down the mountains. Like you really like after you kind of <laughs> figure it out a couple of times, you could probably do pretty good at multiplayer if you kind of know where to turn and mm-hmm. shortcuts there. Uh, I got those bots on that are insane. I got destroyed <laughs> by them so bad. Mm, something the, for me to look forward to. Huh? Yeah, the one <laughs> the one race I did on, I just got hit every few seconds, and I I got in the first lap. I think I got lightning because I was so far behind. Mm. <laughs> well, I think DK Mountain is like a roller coaster, and I think Riverside Park is like a water ride. You know, that's the vibe that I got. Like you're up in the air, you're climbing, 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 and coming down on DK Mountain. Riverside Park, you're kind of more winding around and you see the water coming at you. And that's that's like the emotions and the feelings that that it reminded me of. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Makes sense. I like them both though. I mm-hmm. think there's they're interesting tracks, they're new tracks. Um, as far as like I feel like this isn't the same old, same old. They're interesting ads. Yeah. Anything else yeah. from anybody on those? I didn't do DK Mountain a whole lot, but it looks like it'll be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to getting rid of the badged bots so they're a little <laughs> more chill mm-hmm. and actually enjoying the track. <laughs> yeah. I did yeah. a lot of grinding on Riverside already for Boombox, and that, that was pretty fun. The Riverside has not been pleasant to me <laughs> with the, the drivers they threw on it. So. I know they got King or Yoshi on it, which is cool for you guys, but <laughs> like Can't my other soup. option is like Tanuki Rosa for that one. Oh. And then the Riverside T, I might have to use Cat Peach, and I really don't want to. <laughs> or that I gotta like invest in gold PD. Yeah. But I don't Oh, okay, you like, haven't kinda... invested in gold PD? No, I haven't yet. So oh. I've got gold PD at four and cat peach at six. And then, uh, yeah, so I've got Gold PD at six and Cat Peach nearly at eight, five tickets away. (laughs) This is my track. And then, if you guys notice, Daisy Ty has gotten some some buffs this tour. So, the Riverside Mm -hmm. Park and Riverside Park RT, both uh, she's on those, and then she's on a couple other tracks here. Um, Dino Dino Jungle T too and so she might be someone i don't really want to invest in but i might have to a little bit too so she's got she's got she's doing pretty good this tour as well Mm, yeah i've got yoshiru on riverside park yeah i put him to 7 14 30 so nice that's a good he's a he's a player he's got so many tracks it's insane Mm -hmm. 
He's great. Yeah, that's yeah. I'm happy I could I could actually do it this time. Early investor, happy to do it. Paid L- off. Late investor because <laughs> he didn't come back for like eight months. <laughs> All right. So I did look into the Katsuni a little bit, and I think I'm saying it right. When I tried to use my phone to hear how they pronounce it, my phone wouldn't actually do the volume, but (laughs) Katsuni. (laughs) So they are foxes. It means fox in Japanese. They're kind of like these mythical, historical creatures. Um, They can be magical. They can be tricksters. The more tails they have, the more powerful they're supposedly, you know, are um i was looking into kitsune luigi because that's who's who we're talking about here and he debuted in super mario brothers 3 also super leaf it's like a special thing that mario would turn into tanuki mario and luigi would turn to luigi kitsune kitsune luigi so like they wanted to make luigi a little bit offset from mario a little bit different i think these are really cool kind of mythical creatures foxes are cute they have a lot of, I think even in like cultures, foxes are just kind of known as special, special creatures go back in mythology. So that's who he is. He's a little fox, a little fun fox. And it makes sense that he has the super leaf because he's basically the counterpart to mm-hmm. the tanuki. So they just, they're kind of uh, both animals in Japanese culture and, and I'm enjoying it. I will rock this Kitsune Luigi in a super leaf and Hopefully he treats me well, like he's the next Yoshiru. <laughs> Hope he's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys will have regretted not getting him. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm gonna, not going to regret anything with Super Leaf. Oh. He is a cool alt, though. I like it. I like it that he's got the unique design for the Kitsune mm-hmm. Tanaki type character. And he's the only one that has that particular outfit. Yeah. So I guess the other thing I found too is that there's 13 different types of Katsuni. So there's Heavenly, Celestial, Light, Prime, Void, Dark, Wind, Spirit, Fire, Earth, River, Ocean, Sea. It just goes on and on and on. So like there's a big history here. Mm. Very cool, I think. Yes. We're not in any celebration. No, it's over. <laughs> you couldn't tell by the token shot. Yeah, but let's let's first talk about. Is there any like changes in gameplay or any rumors or anything like that? Anybody heard Ryan? Ryan's got his ear to the grindstone. <laughs> so nothing with like gameplay changes. The big, the only real big change they did was the adding the spotlight items week one or week two to the op- where you could potentially get the mere daily spotlight in the opposite week. Uh, we do have a rank up reward though. We do, we do, and it's quite the reward. Yeah, light blue shy guy. Right. Oh wait, that's not what we're talking. <laughs> we're talking the moo moo me racing suit, mushroom cannon. <laughs> Mark, yeah. Mark, are you gonna throw all the tickets in and get your me suit? Uh, I don't think I'll have to throw all the tickets in. Okay. Okay. No, I'm pretty set up with. Bowser at level eight and um Bowser Santa at level eight. We got my Tanuki cart up high too, so we'll be all right. Just uh I might have to rock Tanuki Rosalina. So <laughs> set, I figure out I gotta invest in uh yeah. She's at level five for me, so I'm gonna have to rock her a little bit, but that's, that's the little... that's the one like chink in your armor. It's <laughs> uh, a sad day when I have to roll her out. Tanuki. Uh, yeah, you should, you should have done Yoshi Room, man. I, I should have, but I it's tough to invest in him when he's only I'm only going to use him once on this entire. <laughs> entire he's one. got so many tracks, though. He really he does. does. He does. Isn't this one in the tour twice? At least Riverside uh, Park R. Should, it should be in the tour twice. I don't think so. And then it's on Riverside Park. I don't know what you have your t- Daisy Tie at, but. Uh no, I have her at six double point gapped. So I'd probably use her, but I don't think this is on that course twice. I don't think really. That'd be no. I don't know if there's anything on here twice. Hmm. As I kind of look through this. That's odd. 
I've, I've spent some time on it. I don't uh, think so. Uh, Nabbit Cookie Land is on here twice. The Cookie hmm. Land battle. Mm-hmm. But I don't look at to see if there's a or the image of all the. I don't see it. Yeah, so ranking rewards if you want the Momo Racing suit. But I think you have both weeks to get it too. If you don't yeah. get it the first week, this is not the orange Yoshi craze <laughs> of the last tour. So Ryan got orange Yoshi. I did not. Mark, did you get him? Oh, yeah, I got him twice. You can't get him twice. <laughs> oh, I got him once. I got him once and I got the blue one. I see how you do. Do you have the blue one maxed out though? So you just got coins? No, I I haven't invested that since I uh, tried to start closing out super drivers. So he's at 116th. Okay. I got coins. Ryan took them all the way up. Okay, so if you want these two items, go for it. Plus, you get the gold pipe, you get a little more stuff. So it's top three if you want to get your your moo moos. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, at least it's both weeks. I, I can tell you I'm not getting first this week. Mm-hmm. Right now there is 50,000 points separating me from first place. Ryan, did you I'm need that third. highest score last week to no. get first? I was going to say, I was like, <laughs> honestly, I was like 15,000 below you and I had first wrapped up like by 3,000 pretty easily. I won by 20,000. Yeah. Who does this? I kept getting it, that makes score. a big difference too. Uh, yeah. Like if you like, I think there's some type of thing in the algorithm where they average your score last, like the last last week or the last two weeks or something. Yeah, some people were saying it's delayed by like four ranked weeks or something like that. I probably did really good back then too, but I don't. know. There's a really weird. <laughs> my first place that right now has 130,000. Second place has 85,000. Oh. And I'm in third with seven, just under eighty thousand. <laughs> I I didn't get my orange Yoshi because it would have taken many 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 tickets across carts and gliders, and I just wasn't going to do that for a new super driver that I'll probably never use. No no no. Um, someone's gonna look at your inventory and be like, "What happened that week?" <laughs> I knew, I knew, I felt the pressure from you looking at it. <laughs> I was like, Mark's going to ask what I was doing that week. <laughs> I just couldn't, I couldn't see that. Like for Gold PD, sure. For a super pumpkin flavored Yoshi, no thanks. No thanks. Mm. I was going to make sure I got him, which I did. I could have easily gotten him the second week if he was available the second week, which is kind of sad that they made it one week only, but... Oh, yeah, I didn't even have to try with the me suits. <laughs> I think I raced like once for something. Or, the second know. week or the first week? The first week, it had the like, gold and the silver mm-hmm. both in it. Well, I had the silver too, but like you must have had good gliders and cards because mine were not lined up. Mm. Yeah, I had the 8 bit green mushroom on one of those, I remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had that too. Okay. Mark's favorite shop. What's going on in your shop, Mark? What shop would that be? <laughs> me suit. Me suit no. shop. <laughs> There's nothing really to talk about. Petey's back. Nabbit's back. And then they have this cat suit that's been around for a while. Mm-hmm. For seven yeah. rubies. Don't buy that yeah. one. Well, unless you don't have it. No, I guess. Me the like giant, The yellow me a racing suit is back, too. Mm-hmm. You want to... But it's not with the discount. It's at 100 rubies instead yeah. of 70. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of hoping that they bring back some of the suits I didn't buy the first time on a discount so I can then snatch them up. How do you guys feel in general about your ruby stash? Do you feel like you're not needing to buy things out of the shop and stuff? That you have such a good stash that it's like more than enough to throw around? Or how do you feel about the amount of rubies you have and what they're giving you? And I could use more. I mean, I have almost 600 right now, but Whoa. there's not much I need to get. 600. I'd feel com- more comfortable if I had more. You just want more to have more. Yeah. But are you really spending your rubies? I bought two items last tour, plus the it, suit, me suit. Is it weird that I'm turning mine into coins a lot of the time? <laughs> I'm probably going to need to do that this time. So you feel like you have too many rubies then if you're turning them into coins, right? You rather have no, more coins. No, I, I feel like I don't have enough coins. 
yeah i don't know but like what i'm asking i guess more specifically is do you feel like you're using your rubies in the spotlight shop or you're using them elsewhere no i don't i'm not buying anything as dupes and i have almost everything that's in that spotlight shop that i want Mm. me too i have i have the majority of what i need i feel like this might be the general feeling going around like i'm excited for katsuni that i will get him but like it's kind of getting stale, right? They used to be throwing so much new at us, and now it's slowed way down. And they're actually making some of these things banners, which we'll get into. But like the rubies, I don't know. It's I think a weird... in a way, like it's really good for someone who's starting out in the game because they can catch up a lot easier. I feel like, um, with like, but you know, for people that's been playing for a long time, it's. I don't know. It's not as exciting anymore. Because, mm-hmm. like, yeah. the first couple tours, there's probably there's stuff in that people bought, but that they wanted desperately. But now it's kind of probably been here a little bit and it doesn't change too much from tour to tour. Mm-hmm. That really impacts things. So, yeah, there's a few new items, but like the yellow off roader is the first time it's been available in there. Yeah. Which that'd be really good for someone a little newer to get. Give them some great coverage on really probably the best card in the game right now i think that's why we feel this way like mark kind of pointed out if you're an older player things have gotten way less exciting i feel like with this they used to roll out so many different things so many new yeah. things that we were like whoa slow down now they slowed way down it's like it's getting a little boring <laughs> yeah well i mean you look at it and it's hard to just go out i wonder if they, they they probably knew this like they had to get to this part with no pipes Mm-hmm. So they had to create like some type of shop like this. They knew, which meant they had to like roll out a bunch of items really quickly, and that's mm-hmm. kind of what we've gone through over the last you know year before kind of the the pipes disappeared. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of I think what happened. Now they're batch you know naturally back slowing down. Like if we were to go back like you know a year plus ago, it, it'd kind of be at this pace where they do you know one driver every two or only or. Or something mm-hmm. along those lines. Yeah. Yeah. Uh this tour, all the animal items are hot. So that's intriguing to me. So I can pick up some of these animal items I don't have. Cat cruisers, cat gliders. So you're saying the animal tour, the animal items are good. <laughs> they're hot. <laughs> they're hot. They're in they're all over the spotlight shop for sure. Now, is anybody I don't have the Tanuki cart. Ryan doesn't have the Tanuki cart. But I think it's way too late to get it, maybe, right? I don't mind that level six double point gapped. That's an excellent card. I just I don't think it's worthwhile for me to go after it. I have it. I'm gonna use it for the first two races. Mm -hmm. So everybody's passing on Mario Tanuki. Am I the only one that has him? I don't have him. I have him at level five or something. He was on a lot of banners. Oh, yeah, and, Bannered. Uh... Bannered uh, <laughs> back in the day. Yeah. Token shop. Last token shop was dreadful. This token shop is... The same, but with a Donkey Kong balloon. <laughs> and of course... We're trading like a Wario balloon for a Donkey Kong, right? Was that Wario balloon last time? I forgot what it was. I think it was. But, I mean... They don't give us a Donkey Kong all. They give us a Donkey Kong balloon. <laughs> like, I just pulled the green pipe in the token shop and got 10,000 coins. <gasps> really? Yeah, nice. within the last five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Speaking yeah. of pipes, my multiplayer pipe last tour treated me so well. I got three high-end tickets out of it. Level oh, up tickets. That's cool. Two, two drivers, and I think it was one cart, right? Yeah, and one temple. In a single temple. Well, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think I picked up any balloons or maybe just one. Yeah, maybe I think one. I got one or two. Earlier than that, I wasn't in that temple though. This token shop is abysmal. This is going to be the... <laughs> it's going to be the typical token shop, I guess. I mean... Why is the multiplayer pipe so much better than the token shop pipe? <laughs> That's what I also want to ask. Is it? Yes. No. 
Yeah, and I'm also going to get buy items. And tickets last tour. I have. I get never... a bunch of star tickets out of that multiplayer one. Star tickets and quick tickets. Yeah, but quick yeah. tickets can be useful, right? Rolling over things. Yeah, but I don't know. I it's also a heck of a lot easier to earn. Oh yeah, for sure. All but right. I think for the time investment and what you can get mm-hmm. out of it, it's a much better ROI. I am extremely, <laughs> extremely lucky if I pull one high end ticket out of the entire like level up ticket out of the entire token pipe, and that's yeah. how many pulls. Are you talking uncapped tickets too? No, I'm just like I'm talking uh, level up, level. but but uncapped, yeah, like maybe a couple at the most. Yeah, I know. I think I average. I, I'm gonna say I might average like three high end tickets, whether they're uncapped or just level up tickets, or whatever the pipe. Them. Overall, I probably do, but not all the time for me. I had nine gold pipes one time, and then I have like one the next tour. Yeah, so. like, <laughs> there's definitely not a like a minimum of two or three in each tour. It's like really streaky. I almost feel like it uses your past tour statistics yeah. to, <laughs> to set it up. Yeah. Okay. The token shop is a bust. Moving on to gold pass gifts. Yeah. The gold pass gifts are interesting. What's the big ticket item? Oops. A bunch of driver tickets. There's I don't think there's much items in here. There's two. Yeah, Mark. It's some of your OG loves. Oh yeah, this is my crazy thing. I have all the super drivers carts and gliders now because my super ramby runner is in there nice which was crazy i'm so also gave us a gold ramby runner yeah it's a ramby runner ramby rider yeah rider right ra- runner oh, yeah you yeah. know gold ramby gold ramby does anyone remember when i said give us the big gold carts reskin and gold they have no. listened, they have applied, and they have given us what I have asked. So thank you, Mario Kart Tour. I don't remember you ever saying that. Am I the Mario Kart Tour prophet? I think they <laughs> might listen just to you. <laughs> yeah, apparently just to you. I don't know. Say we need more rubies. We need more rubies. There we go. Enough rubies to throw around. We need um, more coins. Totally excited to have these two carts. I have been impressed tour after tour by these gold pass gifts. They're really they're doing stuff for us. The gold pipes are amazing in here, right? The the high end's just kind of throwing out. Yeah, they could be duds, but it's a high end nonetheless. I'm happy. Sometimes they can be good. Sometimes they can be dry Bowser. <laughs> hey. I might have to use him once this tour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's not the worst, at least. I got him. I said that because I got him in my first gold plate. There's nothing interesting up with challenges, so I think we can kind of skip that. It's the same old, same old. Heart Pro. Oh, no. <laughs> you just, blo- you just no, blocked that out, didn't no. you? No, no. Yeah, we got Car Pro. No. We got Car Pro. <laughs> there is extra rubies, at least. So does Cart Pro just apply to the racing or the battles? Uh, it says races. No. Oh. So if you get one win in Cart Pro, does that mean I can get that through battles? I don't know. It says races. Well, we I guess I didn't really try battles. So I could be, yeah. I was just doing races today. Because I have much more found my calling in battles and I can get first. So I'm going to try it that way. I'll report back. <laughs> I don't know. I, should, if, I don't think it'll work in battles. but I don't know. Know. It's just I the way it says it when you go in there. It says get Cart Pro in races. Go for three runs in a row in races. So I don't think it, I don't think that's for. Well, know. the Cart Pro challenge I'm on here, it says get one win in Cart Pro. Yeah, but if you go to multiplayer, it says get Cart Pro in races. I it don't know. It say races or battles. It would make my day if it was battles, but it might not be true. Nobody's tried it. Sorry. Can't report yet. I will tweet about it if. And Instagram, <laughs> I can get it in battles, and so can you. Get the tweeter ready. Mm-hmm. We'll get it ready. Now, moving on to banners, banners, banners. We actually have some this tour. 
got some new items which we already touched on the moo moo off-roader biggest cart in the game right one of them no it is the largest the off-roader is the largest well i said one of them because there's multiple off-roaders ryan all off-roaders are the same <laughs> ryan's okay. correct angela just <laughs> of course you'd say that <laughs> so it's a dash panel this is the only dash panel off-roader right i'm pretty sure got the interesting bright neon green tires i don't know what the brown off-roader is i feel like that could be a dash panel actually they're advertising it with the animals in it we've got tanuki mario and kitsune luigi and it is $3.99. You can buy it three times if you want, but it's a level three. Yeah, brown off rotors dash panel, too. Oh, so they doubled up. All right. Then we've got the the calico toe bean balloons, which speak to me. Super horn. Mm -hmm. The calico parafoil has been a mainstay in my inventory and has been very useful. So if that's any indicator, the calico parafoil is also super horn isn't it it is yeah this is interesting so all calicos are super <laughs> horns i guess <laughs> all super horns are not calicos but all calicos are super horns. yes <laughs> all right i i don't know i think are you guys gonna buy this off-roader yeah mark yeah i got it <laughs> how many times I'm going to have to get it three times. I think. <laughs> okay, <laughs> That's okay. worth the investment because I got to put it to eight right away. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah. I, I probably dropped three ninety nine. I love the off-roaders and this one's pretty cute. The calico parafoil or calico toe beans <laughs> might, might do it. Might do it. Really like them. Cat themed. I'm not missing any coverage, so I don't, I wasn't really too inclined to get it. That's a maybe for me. I actually will not be upgrading that at all. So it overlaps a lot with my green mushroom, wonderful wings, and um, black star shoot. Mm. So well, I, I have it. all three of those. So. I just picked up the black star shoot too. Yeah, I, that was one of the items I bought last tour. Yeah. Okay, dokie. What crazy thing did MKT do this week? Mark kind of already hit on his. So I could go. Go ahead, Ryan. So we got some buffs on some old items. So Yoshi Ru got two more tracks, bringing his grand total at level eight to 43. But not to be outdone, DK Jr., SNES DK Jr. got three more tracks, bringing his total to 45. Whoa. It's insane. That's crazy. The oh, animals are popping. <laughs> so many tracks. I bet yeah. you a lot of top 100 players have those too up high. And I don't. Oh, yeah, for sure. So. Yeah, they're up high. <laughs> I don't have I mean, I have um, Kangaroo Yoshi at one. Mm -hmm. And I have DK <laughs> Junior Snaz at four, one capped. Mm. So. I don't know. I, well, both I'm gonna have to use them both just for one track. So. I mean, he overlaps with Meowser on the first track and ranked already, so that's not really. Yeah. You're the oh, the only animal marks on board with is Meowser, I think. That's my dude. <laughs> <laughs> the other animals can take a hike. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love the animals. So this I do is like a Yoshi. Go the Yoshi's not bad. Mm -hmm. Is Yoshi an animal? Oh. <laughs> I, know, I think, I think he is, but I yeah. think they're not counting him because I think the only reason they're counting Yoshi is because he's in a kangaroo suit. Yeah. <laughs> There's some type of animal on animal. But you know? Goshi did get a couple new tracks. All right. I have two crazy things off the top of my head. First of all, you guys told me One not to get track. the get the trickster but i did not listen and i got one trickster i got the dark trickster the favorite of my two tricksters and it got a new course gcn dk mountain yeah and it is my best card on there so yeah who, who for so, me 
Pretty recently, I got four new tracks. I don't know. The Dark Trickster is coming. It might be the next Silver Star shoot, so look out. Look out. My other you don't have that black cat at high? Uh, only got black. to that two. Dark okay. Trickster at three. So I might throw some tickets into that Dark Trickster. Because I was going to put it to six overall for my whole account. So might be the week. What do, you, what do you have the Dark Trickster at? Three. Oh, but you're worried about the Tanuki cart not getting that? I think the Tanuki cart's a lot better cart than the Dark Yeah, but Trickster. Dark Trickster for my account really does help. We already okay. looked at this. Mm, That's good. It does. That's good. Um, my other crazy thing is that they put another Mario in week one. <laughs> yeah, you said we, that already. We can't go mm -hmm. without a Mario. Chef Mario. What was the next one? Halloween Mario. Mm -hmm. I think Not it's like bit. all the new people that come into the game are like, oh, I love Mario. Like trying to suck out rubies from them. Didn't they just think everybody's like, we love Mario, we love Mario, so we need all the Mario alls? Rather than, hey, we, we'd like DK sometime. Okay. <laughs> well, that's crazy. Yeah, how come we don't get a new DK character? I don't this know. Tour? For these tracks, yeah. I don't, it doesn't I make mean, sense. I mean, DK Mountain is, yeah. Why not? I don't know. Perfect yeah. opportunity. Missed. There's rumors that there's like licensing issues or something, but DKs and other things. I don't know. Oh. I mean, that would explain a lot of this, because people want DK. We don't get them, and it's like, why? Maybe there is something going on. They can do a DK uh, knee suit, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the one loophole, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That is yeah. crazy. That is crazy, actually, on yeah. its own. Okay, scale of 1 to 10 on this tour. What are you rating it? You want to go first, Mike? Uh, I'm gonna give it a ten. Love it. Love me a <laughs> Mauser. Love me off roader. We're gonna make this thing happen. I, I don't know how good it's gonna be. I, I'm like, I'm either gonna. <laughs> I'm pretty confident I'm gonna get it. That yeah. 100. I don't know if I'm gonna be really high up because I have just such a good loadouts with like these gliders, mm -hmm. or if it's it's gonna be, or everyone else kind of has something similar. Like I'm missing a couple key characters i wish i had some more driver tickets for but um yeah it'd be interesting i think it'll come down to how good i can boombox and how frustrated i get <laughs> with that process mm -hmm. yeah and, um so yeah i like that i like the the other thing i liked uh getting the the rambi a super cart mm -hmm. so that collects all my super um super and normals now all cleared out so that's cool. It's a good accomplishment to feel that. Um, if I wanted to, I could do all the high ends, but I don't really want to spend rubies on junk high end. So I don't think I'll ever have that cleared out. Um, yeah, I think you, it, we're talking every high end. I don't want it. Yeah. No, I have a, I have Whoa. a lot. To, I have a lot to do if I wanted to do that. The driver oh. things, I'm pretty actually not too many gaps, but yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. But now with them not in banners, that really sets you back. Yeah, I'm not grabbing. I know who I got. <laughs> I got two gold pipes and I got uh, Mario Aviator twice today. <laughs> like, why? Wow. And it was wow. almost like back to back, like wow. back to back gold pipes. So I'm like, I don't even want him. <laughs> but, yeah. So, yeah. Not, yeah. Not a good gold pipe today on my gold free pulls. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. I think anytime Mauser is kind of leading the tour off on week one, it's a good sign. Open up the mm -hmm. game, see that, and then we'll kind of see how everything goes. I like that they bought the PD me suit back. He's all over this tour too, so that's good. Mm -hmm. nice. I've got him at level four, so that's good. All right. Oh, Mark, I don't know if you saw Shaggy Kurt's video, but he was not a big uh, me suit enthusiast, mm. but he's changed his tune. He said that he like basically doesn't have. He has so many rubies that he doesn't really have anything he needs to get anymore from the spotlight shop, and they're just kind of sitting there. So he's going to start investing in me suits. So a little late to the game. You're gonna, <laughs> gonna spend like thirty more rubies. No. Well, that's cool. Yeah, 
yeah i was surprised to hear that we were watching some of those videos and yeah so you might you might have a shy guy card on your your me squad <laughs> nice it's good squad to hear. me suit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you want to go with your score yeah uh thinking about this one i don't like the token shop i do like gold pass gold pass has been impressing me i like the new tracks kitsune is right up my alley the super leaf you know i'll, I'll handle it um maybe a seven wow. i just i love a furry friend so that's what's kind of boosting it for me other than that I figured that was enough to make it a ton. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a cat. <laughs> it's not a cat. And I don't know. Maybe this this token shop thing is really bumming me out. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean I mean that was the reason why I went with an 8.5 was the token shop. Just being kind of junky. Hmm. Hopefully the next tour's token shop will be better. But yeah, that's... you know that's the only good one they do driver ones. They do carts and gliders. They always put just super stuff in there. I don't know. Mm. But uh, yeah, I, overall, like the new tracks, the gold pass rewards. Mm -hmm. I like the buffs they gave items. Like, I finally actually had a reason to put my Yoshi Ru to seven triple caps, which I've been wanting to do for a long time. So I'm really happy about that. So that's what brought it up to an eight point five for me. But the token shop brought it down i just wish i don't know it it's like they we wanted something more to do with tokens so they made it nearly impossible to clear the shop without spending hours grinding and then it's like that was too many tokens so instead of like reducing the cost they just cut the token shop in half <laughs> instead yeah i don't <laughs> I understand don't the token shop i mean, I mean it is what it is. I I don't know. It's kind of well, weird. We're back to causing opponents to crash, right? Yeah. So I do like the tour for that. Maybe I'll bump it. What did I say? Seven. Yeah. Maybe up to an eight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite thing. <laughs> okay. All right. Moving um, on. <laughs> favorite thing. Everybody knows it's going to be my kitsune. I the other thing that I'm like happy but also frustrated by is like should I spend quick tickets to get my Katsuni sooner? <laughs> sooner Katsuni. I don't see the point. I mean I know he's gonna be available week two, so do I just wait it out? Yeah. <laughs> but you know the anticipation. I'm I can be a patient. Why don't, patient. Why don't you guys ever use your quick tickets on your a daily uh normal shop or whatever daily selects daily i don't selects. have anything maxed out so i figured it's, i feel like it's not worth it to bother until i actually have a category maxed out yeah i just get tickets so rarely in there that although one tour i got three driver tickets a couple tours ago it was cray mm -hmm. otherwise i get one ticket per tour now that's all i'm using my quick tickets on every day I try to do two so you get some high-end tickets i think the last two where i got i want to say like three or four drivers in there a couple gliders mm. so i got one cart i got one glider the tour before that you got one now the last like three or four tours i've gotten one ticket i'm also buying all my normal carts since they <laughs> threw six new normal carts at us mm. trying to get that brought up but that is okay. going to take me at least a couple months yeah <laughs> Because they're all like level one. <laughs> yeah, they're all level four for me now, but I do have 132 normal cart tickets sitting there to use. Oh, wow. But I just, I need 240 just to get to from level seven to level eight. So, yeah, it'll be a mm -hmm. little bit. Yeah, I have, I don't know, like 75 upgrades to go or something, uh, normal gliders to get those maxed out. Mark's in the long game. Can you imagine trying to like get this done now if you were just starting to play the game? Trying it's to like close out normal stuff? Man, mm -hmm. that would be impossible. Do it. It's do actually, it. I was looking at my cost of coins to max out the next items after normal gliders. It's actually, I have 69 upgrades left, 34,500 coins left on normal gliders. 
my next cheapest item would be normal drivers. And then after that, it's super gliders. Because hmm. I have more to do on normal carts than super gliders. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, there's actually more carts now than gliders. Mm -hmm. right? There's more carts than drivers now, too. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yep. So I have 708 upgrades to do on normal carts. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm not going to do no. it. No. I'll start using the quick tickets on the daily selects once I get the normal gliders maxed out and I have tickets unlocked. Mm -hmm. At least it increase my chances as much as possible. Then, what are you what? guys buying out of your shops? Are you buying super tickets at all? Like super, dri like driver carts, gliders tickets? I just buy tickets out of the tier shop. You mean daily selects, Mark? What are we yeah. buying? Yeah, nothing besides high end tickets for me. Oh, and if a random thing that I don't have shows up in there. If I get a high end ticket, otherwise I'll buy the normal gliders and then I'll spend the rest of the coins on the tier shop. There's like tickets. there's like some random like carts and and uh is it just carts? That, like did, have what, been added to there. What do you buy out of the tier shop for high end stuff? I um, always buy the high end driver ticket. Yeah. Me or too. or two if I get one in the super row. Yeah. Um this right now I only have one one driver, but I got two carts. In there, and I need more car tickets, so I'll probably gonna buy both of those. Yeah, yeah, that's my philosophy too. Try to try to buy all the driver tickets, mm -hmm. and if I have some surplus of coins, I might buy a cart ticket on there. But I get enough stuff kind of coming through my daily selects that most mm -hmm. of the time I'm not buying the cart ticket; I'm just buying the driver ticket once a week. Yeah, I usually I wait till the last day of the week and then yeah, get, get what I need. So like Tuesday evening, same yeah. day as ranking. That's what I do too, is I look and wait all week and see if I get any in the daily selects. If I don't, then I'll get whatever I want out of the, the tier shop. Yeah. At least the drivers. Yeah, and sometimes I won't necessarily get the cart, but I'll get whatever else between cart or glider that I have the fewest of. Just to try to help increase them. So when do you guys think level nine's coming? <laughs> Should I start buying all these normal <laughs> glider tickets? I it, like it was what last like spring, late yeah. winter that they popped eight. So mm. it would have to be at least a year, right? I More than that. Than I think that. it's got it, this time. Feels like it has to be longer than that, but it's so hard to get anything to eight. Mm -hmm. Speaking the truth, so what's your two favorite things about this tour? Mark Meowser? Uh, yeah, that new <laughs> off-roader is cool. Um, I really just like, you know, I invested really heavily in the 8-bit green mm -hmm. mushroom. Just like kind of I needed to for the last time I went for top 100. And that thing has just been like, I think it's turning into like the best glider in the game. Mm -hmm. It's just all over every tour, all over oh, yeah. ranked. It's just it's really good. I'm glad I did that. And I kind of got out lucky picking that one out and investing in it so um yeah I, you know closing out the super cards is cool um yeah I, mauser's awesome the pd me suit finally that thing's paying off for me <laughs> i think that was the deciding factor of like going for it i was seeing mm -hmm. that show up a lot so um yeah So mine's going to be both the new tracks. I, was, I I always enjoy it when they bring new original, new retro tracks into the game. And these are these are some pretty cool ones. DK Mountain's really unique. I like it. I don't I don't really remember playing it all on Wii or anything. So it was on Wii before it was on GameCube or after it was on GameCube. But I know you guys probably I remember it. it. Yeah. So I being on it again, I kind of remember but I don't think I played it much but I always enjoy it like I said I always enjoy the new tracks added so it always makes a tour fun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just also like that all these animals are back <laughs> cats are back my nookies are back it's fun MVP of ranking 
Who's here? Who's interesting? Who's all over your ranking? Or who are, who are you surprised that's in your ranking? The Silver Star Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Back to back weeks. Back to back weeks. Or tours, I guess. And I got um, you know, um, one of the battles. So mm-hmm. I got the. So it's even getting more, more pub. Um. Yeah, the Ramby Runners all over mine. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. all over this tour. It's in twi- for one uh, week one, one week two. So that's pretty cool. So the only one I'm probably going to use more than once is the Yellow Off Roader. That's on the there was the first and second track next week. And I'm finally going to be putting that to six. So I'm happy about that, which is what's going to allow me to use it twice. And another one that I get to use, I'm only using once because of the level it's at. Because you can use the black toe beans three times between week one and week two. <laughs> you guys are, are taking all of my <laughs> <laughs> black toe beans are an animal item. You guys aren't allowed to talk about them. Black toe Too beans are bad. here. Are here twice. Too bad. Um, dar- I gotta throw out the dark trickster again. Like, why are you here in an animal tour? I love it. <laughs> Show up. Love you. Um, you're a new card for me. The Tanookis. The Tanookis are here. We've got Mario Tanooki. We've got the Forced Upon Mark. Rosa Tanooki. The animals are back. They're hot. Their items are hot. Rampy Runner is an animal cart. Mark does enjoy that one. That one's back. Mark already mentioned that. Yeah, and then Silver Star Shoot. An old fave. An old number one glider for me. Will it go to eight? It, it perhaps might. It's an interesting tour for items, for sure. I think I might be putting that to eight, too. Whoa! Ooh. Cat Peach also might go to eight this tour. For you? For me. I'm finally going to be able to level up White Tanooki Mario, which I'm happy about. Yes. Quite, Ryan. Quite. He does overlap with my new Kitsune that I will be picking up, which does not make me happy. Let's hope the Kitsune comes out on top later. DK Jr. is on three rank tracks, too, I believe. Okay, I wanted to add a little new segment in. I thought about this this week. <laughs> Mark <What's> smiling. <laughs> The worst thing about all this is like we talked about all the crappy drivers I have to use. I have to use Gold Shy Guy <laughs> on the last, yes, the last <laughs> race of the entire tour. DK Mountain T. Okay, yeah. what's your Gold Shy Guy at? Five and two thirds. Mm, I will, shoot. and I put a one cap ticket into him <laughs> a long, long time ago. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. Okay. Luckily, I didn't do anything more than that. Um, <laughs> but I don't think you. Know, I mean, I don't even think I'm going to put a ticket into him, like mm-hmm. to get him to six. I think I'm just going to ride it with a five and see what happens. But mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, sure. that's the saddest thing I think about this tour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wanted to add a segment of if you could change, if if Mario Kart Tour handed you the wheel and you could change one thing, what would you change about this tour? You guys can ponder. You got something? I got something. I think I would change Luigi, Katsuni Luigi, Luigi Katsuni. I would change his skill and I put a lucky seven on him. Give an animal lucky seven. We've been all waiting for the next lucky seven. I think this would be great for a unique little fox in the game. Um... Luigi does already have a lot of lucky sevens, but I would have been happy giving an animal a lucky seven. Does any animal have a lucky seven? I don't think so. Mm. No cat does. No Tanuki does. I don't think so. I thought it would have been a, be a cool ad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like that. Me? Huh? I'm not a big fan of the overlap between the Rambi Runner, the new Moo Moo Off Roader. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the Warrior Wagon. Mm. 
So those kind of all run together a little bit too much. And the yellow off-roader mm-hmm. a little bit. There's one course. Um, about so, Chocolate that's... Mountain RT with Rambi, Red Off-Roader, and Yellow Off-Roader. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to have a little bit more spread out there. Yeah. Um, but that's all right. Combo Cruisers also comes back this tour a little bit. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, the other thing I would like is that Riverside Park R, not to have Tanuki Rosa. <laughs> Maybe just throw someone else on there. Okay. No. okay. But, Maybe a gold shy guy instead? Yeah, just throw him on there somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. No, I, I think this, this tour is pretty good. I like it. I think I'd change the token shop. Yeah, I think that's a really good one. I'd want to make it 5,000 coins instead of 2,500 for one. <laughs> the coins. I don't I don't really mind the new balloon being in there. That's not really that big a deal to me. I'd probably include a high end ticket and maybe a gold pipe. Mm-hmm. And I think that'd be adequate. Just throw something. Maybe at this. maybe a coin rush ticket or two too. To like make a complete bottom row, add a high end glider ticket, a gold pipe, and then a coin maybe like two coin rush tickets. I thought for sure somebody would have said add a DK alt. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty I feel like that's pretty obvious mm-hmm. too. Like why why wouldn't you? Okay, that's been the new segment. If Mario Kart Tour handed you the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> now, does anybody have a whole nother level? Or are we skipping it? Mark? Since you're going for top 100, do you have one? Or you know what you're doing? Oh, you're still muted, Mark. I don't have that many uncapped tickets for drivers. So I was trying to figure out what to do exactly. Mm -hmm. So I only have 27 uncapped tickets. I really wish I would have more. Um... But I can kind of throw them into one of three different items. So Mauser, I could quad that at four. Um, I could throw it into Silver Me, quad that. Or I could, I got to throw in like Summon to PD. I got to throw in like probably at least five into PD to get him double capped. At least, which kind of looks more, you know, like a triple cap and then some. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of like six, you know, five are already devoted to PD. So I'm kind of down to 22. So maybe I pull off two tickets somewhere else in this tour. Like maybe they show up in my shop and I buy them. That's probably how I would use my coins. Um, but if that comes out, then I got to decide. I got to kind of invest in two out of the three. Or I could do PD triple capped. And I got to pick between Mauser and the Silver Me suit. So the, the Mauser I can use um, six times. Silver Me I could use five times. So I I can look at my alternate, like, the you know, I can look in that a little bit more and see, like, what tracks are, like, the most highest actions and mm-hmm. which will lead to, like, the highest points, probably. That's probably what I'm going to decide on eventually. But I'm kind of leading towards Mauser. A little bit too um just because he's a coin box and i think that'll be a little bit better but i'm not sure i think if you're thinking ranking wise i would do silver me suit you're already starting higher with the silver me suit right and i feel like it's almost every tour you can use that silver me suit in ranking it's kind of a rare tour that you can't you say the same thing with mauser though i think that guy's been a beast yeah, in, they both have. In my mind, the silver me suit, like they're really close. The silver me suit just pulls ahead, just a hair. Maybe it's because I don't have Meowser at eight, but. but the action counts you can get, I feel like, on Coinbox is just so much more than you can get on a Lucky Seven. Like if you're grinding out coin boxes, like you can get like at least a double coin box frenzy and then a bunch of single stuff 
single coin box, and then probably maybe one other frenzy in a race. And like lucky seven, it's like you gotta really like time get a, you can get two lucky sevens pretty quickly easily. Um, but those single coin boxes that you get mm-hmm. um, when you're not getting frenzies are like golden and to really boost up your action yeah. counts. So I don't know. That's what do you think, Ryan? Can I yeah. make one more argument for a lucky seven over a coin box? Coin box has to be on the right track, though, because if you don't have a place to put the coin box, say you're flying all around in the air, or like you keep getting coin boxes in the wrong locations where you can't pick up the coins, that's a downside to a coin box because a lucky seven, you can just hit, hit, hit. Doesn't matter if you're in the air or not. Doesn't matter what the course looks like. It's just hits. Yeah, true. Maybe I can play around a little bit with those coin box courses and see if they're good or not. Yeah. It depends on the course sometimes with a coin box or you keep getting them in flying sections and what are you supposed to do? Coin box frenzy or just a regular coin box? What, you know? Well, yeah, the most of the time. Coin box, you can just hang on to it. Until like right, right when you're about to land and throw a bunch in front of you. So yeah, it's more about like when you get frenzies sometimes um, mm-hmm. on tracks when you do coin boxes. And that's where your, your extra item ticket comes in really handy to know when to use it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But right, you agree with me. There's some tracks that do not lend itself to coin box, even if you Oh have yeah. Them. And then like even mm-hmm. the tracks where you can dive, take dives, then lucky seven's a lot better. Mm-hmm. Uh, dives and go back to item boxes, you know, after doing yeah. jumps. But yeah. I don't know. I'll play around with the tracks, see what what you know what's available on them maybe and kind of decide that way. But I kind of feel like the silver me suit may continuously get tracks. Because there's more and more. Well, more so because it's an exclusive item that you unlock on a challenge card. And more people are doing that every every day, basically. So Mm -hmm. I feel like they can't just I feel like they can't just stop giving it tracks or putting it in places where it's gonna be useful and and ranked. Where Meows are at some point like the only reason he's getting tracks is because this is considered an animal tour. He's an animal. Yeah. <laughs> so like he'll he'll probably pop up in ranked every once in a while, kind of like how Kamek does now. Mm-hmm. Not super frequently, but when he's there, he's he's useful. Yeah. Or like but, in ACR. But like the silver suit, I feel like it'll continuously get new tracks. Maybe not every single tour, but I think it's kind of always going to slowly. So what I'm hearing is just double cap PD. And try to throw tickets into both of those. <laughs> yeah, like I take everything TV. back that I said about the lucky seven. Put it into the cat, Mark. Put it into the cat. Does <laughs> yeah. that spreadsheet come out yet, Ryan, at all? The ACR spreadsheet? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it was released. All right, you have to email it to me. You're my sure. guy. <laughs> you got a guy. I'll take, I'll take you a guy. guy. <laughs> you guys' name is Ryan. You uh, guy. My guy. Okay, so I don't think there's any doubt of mine to go over really. Well, <laughs> no, we didn't go over already. <laughs> yeah, they did data mine the next tour. Oh well, yeah. It's a oh versus. yeah, Ryan. You yeah. can find that. That's right. Yeah. So which the only reason we can data mine a new tour is because when it's a rally tour and they upload that image during the the previous tour. So the next tour is going to be Peach versus Bowser round two. Yeah, yeah. Mauser, <laughs> Mauser's <Mouza's> back. <laughs> Peach, Peach is going to lose a second time. Yes, Peach. We're, we learned from the last one. We cannot be Go defeated twice. Mouza. Fool us once. Yeah. Switch to Team Bowser. <laughs> it will be a battle of uh, me versus Mark and Ryan yet again. <clears throat> I'm a little confused why they're repeating the rally tours now. Because Peach got burned too bad last time <laughs> and it was unfair. They're like, give Peach another shot. That's why. Oh, so something else I wanted to touch on, which Ryan, Mark, did you get this picture? We texted it to you. Um, just to kind of round out this animal tour, let's talk about what's in the daily spotlight pool and let's like highlight anything we really like 
like anything we th really think that anyone should buy that it's grab it all tot little tier our favorites what we would buy say if we didn't have them and we talked about this last time we're at the opening of our episode um in the last tour but let's let's close it down with this one so is there a way to tell what's new versus last tour in here uh it doesn't they don't highlight that mm. so i don't know for drivers and the like what they consider the normal chance which is like the 50 50 shot <clears throat> i don't know if there's anything really different i think fire rosalina might be it's not your eyes mark it is blurry <laughs> um <laughs> I don't know if there's really much of anything different in there. I yeah, was like, man. Ryan, why is this so blurry? I was like, can't yeah. get it any more clear. Our, gu just our, guy, our guy couldn't get any more clear yeah. for us. It was just, oh, that's, maybe it was just the render was too, too small. Of course, there's all the animal ones that have the high chance of showing up. Okay. If you're a beginning player, I want to highlight, because this is my animals. This is my tour. This is the animals you need to, to put in a cage and put in your... <laughs> Your inventory. You need Yoshiru. Kangaroo yeah. Yoshi. Oh, Yoshi okay. Kangaroo. Oh, you need him. Get him. Skip baby koala. Get cat toad. Cat I gotta toad use is... baby koala once. <laughs> One of those baby parks. <laughs> Babies on babies. Um, cat toad is extremely useful for coverage. Um, there are, I think some of them are being overtaken by like old chuck and stuff, but if you're just looking for pure coverage, cat toad's a great one. And I'd say round it out with Mark. You can talk about Meowser, but I think uh, White Tanuki Maru is also also great. Yeah. D Go ahead, Ryan. Your guy. DK Junior is going to be a great great addition just to get coverage quickly with forty five top shelf tracks at level totally, eight. Totally, yeah. Forty four at level six, like. Can't really pass that up, I think. Mark, give us a Meowser pitch. Talk about your cat. Uh, big coin box guy. So coin box yeah. is the best skill in the game, and being a big helps you collect more as you are on the track. Um, he has a bunch of tracks, right? I don't even know. You just feel like he's all around everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, Ryan, you can he's got a good up. chunk of tricks. I didn't count up how many he actually had, so I don't remember. Yeah. I can look at it. Can but, we talk about Tanuki Cookie too? She also has a ton of tracks. Sorry, Mark, not to interrupt your Mauser. No, I'm good. But she has a bad skill, so don't buy her. <laughs> uh, the Super Leaf can be learned, but she does have a crazy amount of coverage. And she was in ranking in the past quite a bit. I feel like she's cooled off, though, right? And I feel like white Tanuki Mario is heated up. Mauser's got 32 at level 8. It, yeah, Ryan, you were talking about normal chances. Is there anybody in the normal chance we would recommend? Charge and Chuck's not too bad. Tuxedo, uh, Tuxedo Mario's kind of fallen off a lot. He really has. The Luigi Knight is pretty new. I know he's Wolverine. shown up quite a bit, but I haven't thrown tickets into him. I must have the wrong items that overlap with him. Otherwise, I'd probably skip the rest. Do you agree, Mark? It's yeah, like the middle so. one. Yeah, we kind of talked about all the other ones. Yeah. And I then like we... the red crawly cart. I really like those crawly carts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're I don't know. They got to be bring back a new one soon. Yeah, that'd be nice to get I was, a I was thinking they'd do that for Halloween, but they didn't. Gold one? Gold one and gold pass? Yeah. That yeah. might be my favorite carts in the game, the crawly carts. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, if Gold Charging Chuck ends up in your shop, which is a rarity, get that dude. Get Gold mm -hmm. Chucky. He's really useful. He did Gold show Egg. up in my shop last tour. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Gold Egg Yoshi is a good choice, too. He's getting some good individual traps. So would you guys recommend getting the old Tanuki card at this point? Yes, still? Or no? It could give you some good coverage. Uh, yeah, it's hit or miss, I would call it. So, I think it depends on your inventory. Yeah, if you don't have a lot, course. like if you're a little newer and don't have a lot of carts and a lot of items, it could give you some good coverage. It's yeah. definitely not a bad cart. I would, yeah, I would, yeah. would kind of call it in the 
15 to 30 range of carts. Do not miss the yellow off-roader. Get mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that's arguably the best card in the game. What about red off-roader? Would you guys say pick that up for sure, too? Yeah, I, I, I like it. It's been getting some good tracks. I did eight pulls for it. <laughs> Back in the days of pulling mm -hmm. to get it. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Uh, I don't know if there's Rambi. Rambi Runner. It's pretty old now. It did get a, at least one new track. It's all in over this tour. It's yeah. in yeah, it's in ranking in this tour, but like it's been a, a long time since it has been, right? Yeah. Shield yeah, Speedster, I don't know if it's getting that many good tracks or not, though. To, uh, I have to use it actually. I have to level it up and use it. So I have to use it on um DK Mountain RT and Piranha Plant Slide T. I'm going to use that. Mm. That was one cart that kind of covers both of those tracks where I really just don't have coverage on them. So I put, I got my Lightning Streamliner at six double cap now. So that's my mm. Piranha Plant Slide T cart. What about DK Mountain RT? That's I don't know what third, I have on that. Third track in the um, next week's ranked. So I've got the Gold Bullet at level two. <laughs> uh, you poor guy <laughs> otherwise i have at level one i have the tiger bruiser magma broom and then wild black at level, level one would you say the third track next week more yeah yeah that's where my shoulder speedster is too i mean you could get the new snooki cart or you could get that brown off rotor wink wink no thank you <laughs> uh, i don't know is the, it am I a completionist? Do I kind of want the brown off roader just to have it? The gold bullet bullet built blaster or whatever it's called might not be that bad since I'm gonna be using giant banana. <laughs> might actually be good to dodge mm. bananas that I hit all of them. I suppose, yeah. For gliders, is there anything that's a must have that's in this tour? In honor of you, I'd have to say the boom ass. Whoa. Wait, they're here? Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah, right there. If they the show up, sure. I am buying them so fast. They're in my shop today. Are you getting them? There you got them. I, I pulled for them a long time ago. Oh, that's right. No, I know what the, you were in the other pipe. You were in week one and they showed up, no. remember? Yeah, that's true. Because oh, I was so jealous. <laughs> that, I really kind of wanted to invest in that thing this mm -hmm. week, this tour too, because it's been kind of like a, on tracks I don't have glider coverage, it's shown up a lot. So I think it's mm -hmm. a pretty good glider for me, but it just, there's no track on this that uh, makes sense mm -hmm. for me to level up. I think the black star shoot is a good yeah. buy. That's on a, like, it's the only glider I have on one of these tracks. It's been yeah, ranked that, a lot. That'll go to level eight triple point get for me. <laughs> um, oh. Starry Great Sale. Yeah. The Lava Rocks have been getting some decent tracks too. Mark was, was raving about his one up 8 bit mushroom. Yep. That's excellent. I'd recommend that. The Green Maybe one. Fire Flower got some new tracks too. That's always been good. Mm -hmm. I'm using that this tour. Um, what else? Silver star shoot must have. I have to level up the black. Mm. Um, to uh, cat parafoil. Cat parafoil. Yeah. Or to toe beans. Into... No parafoil, the older one with mm -hmm. the bomb. So mm -hmm. um, they both have bomb. Yeah, I guess this one. <laughs> this one is the newer, the newer of the older one. It's yeah. the one that came out with cat yeah. Rosalina that I always yeah. wanted. That the black toe beans is older. Yeah, Black so Tobians we'll... is pretty decent though too. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I have to do the cat parafoil, the black one, for a couple of tracks. Also, the calico parafoil, like I said earlier in the episode, really good glider. I've had it at six for a long time. It always seems to come back in ranking every once in a while. So, I don't think that's a bad investment to pick up. I feel like, out of what's available between the drivers' carts and gliders, there's. As far as more value in the items is probably in the gliders. There's probably 
more mm-hmm. gliders that are better value right now than what you can get out of drivers and cards. Oh, yeah, I think I agree with you, Ryan. These are a good mix of gliders. And Golden Wings is so possible to get in there, which has a mm-hmm. crazy amount of drags. I've been seeing that Glittering Parasol has been getting, at least for a little bit, it was getting quite a few tracks. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I got any buffs this tour. But yeah, there's some there's some pretty solid gliders in there. And don't miss the off-roaders, really. This is I feel like this is one of the unique things about the tours, the off-roaders. Like mm-hmm. pick them up. The big. Yeah. Anybody else have anything else? That wrap up the tour? The episode? The tour? The animals? Let me check my notes. I think that's everything. There's not a whole lot of data mining to go off of. And we talked about the week two stuff when we were talking about week one. <laughs> I so. mean, it's not really data mining anymore. You know what's coming from the trailer. And like they're just holding back these new items for week two for yeah. whatever reason. Yeah, so. just the unique thing is they're doing a driver cart and glider for week two in the mm-hmm. spotlight, which first is the time. first time. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And we can pretty much just expect a Mario for week one next tour. Mm-hmm. Even though <laughs> Even it's Peach. Cat versus Mario on Team Peach. I'm going to predict it's PGP. And... Is that going to be a Mario? Nope. Mario, Pink Gold Peach. I'm going to predict <laughs> Mario Tuxedo is going to be week one. Okay. We'll see where these, these turn out. I'm going to go with a new Peach all. Mm. Gotta save my rubies just because Ryan said that. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say Peach Farmer because we're gonna get Peach Garden. Oh, okay. Okay. That would be exciting. All right. We are Tour de Cart. We are on social media on Twitter and Instagram at Tour de Cart. Our email address is Tour de Cart at gmail.com. If you have some thoughts or, you know, want to share anything with us, we are a video podcast only on YouTube, exclusively on YouTube. We are Mario Kart Tour channel, and we'll be trying to stream every uh, Monday night live. Ryan's got a back injury, so we were not on Monday, but we'll see how it goes. We'll try to do it. We wish yeah. we wish him well. I'm, I'm going to have to join this Monday yeah. to make you guys all <laughs> multiplayer with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mark, that's an mm-hmm. opportune time. Get everybody that comes to do a coin box and you do a boomerang. <laughs> I just got to get that's some ideal. boomerangs then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, that's a plan. The coins everywhere. Mm-hmm. And then I gotta make sure everyone at the finish line pulls the way to the right. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get first. <laughs> everybody try to drive backwards. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Please subscribe. Please like the video. Um, it really helps us too if you watch the whole video. We've never mentioned this. Like one of the things that YouTube keeps track of is how long you guys watch or listen. So keep us in your ears, keep listening, finish the video. Yeah, and if you can really help us, we're at, I think the last time I looked, we're at 399 subscribers. We can start doing community posts if we get to 500 subscribers where we can kind yeah. of keep you updated. It'd be a little bit easier than trying to put out posts yeah. on Twitter and stuff if, you know, for some reason I hurt my back continuously. <laughs> <laughs> and we can let you know yeah. it's easier that we're not going to be able to stream. So yeah, if you can help us get there we'd really appreciate it really appreciate the support and all the support that you guys already give us yeah well, thanks we guys love you. we keep going for you guys yeah the you guys don't realize i guess people do these community posts and you we always kind of took for granted that any channel could do it we didn't know that until we had a channel and then it's like oh we can't yeah, do it we're not allowed it's hard because we want to update hard. you guys with the videos <laughs> we're making like what's going on we're gonna go live we're not but it's it's difficult we can't do that so we would love to get to 500 subscribe paw that like button scratch it um super leaf it giant banana it Coin box. <laughs> lucky seven keep racing <laughs> hold your rubies hold your rubies hold your rubies bye everyone bye